back to another vlog. Today is very exciting because we're going to the airport. Um, obviously, you clicked on this video for a reason. I'm going to Dubai. <laughs> that sounds so weird to say. My mom is here with me. She's driving me to Boston. We're taking my car up there. Um, I wanted to start this vlog before it gets too dark because it's super dark and cloudy here. So I figured I need to start it, especially before getting onto the plane and everything, you're not gonna be able to hear anything that I'm gonna say. So if you are new, hello, my name is Jillian. Thank you for clicking on this video today. You should definitely subscribe, like this video, turn on my post notifications so you know when I upload because I don't have an upload schedule anymore. So I'm flying out of Boston to um, DXB. For all of you who might be new here, I was traveling with my boyfriend. He is from Cape Town, South Africa. I am from America. So because of the coronavirus pandemic, we have unfortunately been separated due to border lockdowns and border closings between our two countries and even the rest of the world. There being a lot of different travel restrictions. Um, so we haven't seen each other since May. So it has been over five months now. South Africa closed its borders to the entire world and did not open until October 1st. There is a lot of rules regarding the reopening of South Africa and one of them being there's like a red list for travelers to come there and obviously the U.S. is considered high risk in every country so we are obviously on South Africa's red list which means um, people like me <laughs> who are in a long distance relationship cannot travel there for leisure because it is not business or sports related, which I think is bullshit, but you know, we're not gonna talk about that. A lot of people ask me like if he can come here or whatever, and he can't because the US embassies are closed right now in South Africa and you can only get there by appointment. Um, the US banned or put a stop or a hold on all non-immigrant visas, which is anyone like on a work visa, a travel visa, tourist, you know, that kind of thing. Um, until the end of December and then they're gonna decide what happens after that so there has been no way for us to see each other until South Africa reopened its borders we've been doing a lot of research as to where we can go how we should go about this and all of that so we decided to meet halfway Dubai is kind of halfway for us both in order to even get on the plane have to have a negative COVID test we have different travel documents so they can keep track of us the whole time we are there I have to download a Dubai like COVID tracing app thing too so there's a lot of health precautions that are already in place we're going for I want to say eight days I took 10 days off of work because I have to travel there so my flight leaves at 11 p.m. tonight about an hour away my flight is 12 and a half hours long my boyfriend Tyron's I keep saying my boyfriend Tyron's flight is nine and a half hours from Cape Town South Africa so he's actually he's gonna be there very soon his flight left at like noon um, East Standard Time mine is leaving at 11 p.m. so he's gonna be in the airport waiting here we go I used to see Tyron after five months <laughs> just made it through security everything went so smooth so fast no issues um, yeah because I had all the travel documents prepared my check-in went like super quick really I really want to find um, something to eat and drink but everything is closed right now I don't know we'll figure it out as I explore around wandering this place it makes nonsense nonsense till it makes sense
Baby, you could keep me going Cause you've been everywhere Let me take up all the love you're showing I need it more than air And you know that I've been suffocating You could be the one to help But my issues are not Happy day two of this vlog This is like day three of traveling for me and we are officially in dubai we're about to go down to breakfast but i just wanted to say we have made it safely here to dubai um this city is gorgeous as you just saw the views of it is incredible my plane landed a little early last night instead of like 7 30 it landed at like 6 50 which isn't drastic but a little difference is like it's nice um so we like just came back to the hotel checked in chilled hung out with the two of us because we haven't seen each other in five months so that was really nice i barely got any sleep last night though i got like nine hours of sleep on the plane so i got like a full night's rest because my flight was when normally i would sleep back home in america and then when i came here it was like 7 p.m and then we went to bed around midnight well i was not tired you can probably see my dark circles they're they're not good they're i'm like looking in not at the camera but they're not good so i intentionally tried to stay awake so tonight i can like really get a good night's sleep in but we're gonna go down to breakfast now we're very hungry i was hungry all night long it's gonna be a good day i think today is just gonna be more exploring the hotel I like seeing what's around us so um, we're gonna go down now we will chat later I don't want to bring you down I just want to be free from the free you feel love for the first time I just want to love something about me see something to open my eyes don't want to be the only one with the house key have something I'm proud of I wish we were living in my dreams cause in another world you'll come with me and we'd be out of sight out of mind Driving windows down with your head in line Out of sight, out of mind, out of sight So what do you think of Dubai so far? Um, I think that it's one word One word? One word What? If I had to choose one word, I'll just say Classy Classy? You think so? Yeah. I would use luxury If I was going to do one word Because I feel like that could be a lot of different things Yeah, but I mean those are kind of the same things, isn't it? You think it's always classy, classy though? and luxury Mm, I think you can be luxury, luxurious but not be classy. The landscape and the city and all that. To I me, see. That seems super classy because we've obviously been to a lot of cities mm -hmm. and I will say hands down this like just in terms of architecture yeah. and being clean and like, this is a very clean city. Looking like fresh and new. Yeah. I'd say to me that is what gives to buy that um, sort of like elegant, yeah, like classy appeal to me. It is a while later now, but we are about to head down to the pool. We decided to kind of like hang at the hotel for the day and like come up with our itinerary and plan and then go out. I think tomorrow we're gonna go to like the Dubai mall cause it's like the biggest mall in the world and the Burj Khalifa, you know, the tallest building in the world and all that. But today we're gonna go hang out. Um, it is, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's around like three, I would say. We got back from our little city walk and we went to the grocery store and just like walked around the city, kind of saw what's in our area a bit. I have all the pool essentials. I have a little cooler bag from TJ Maxx that was like a dollar with some water and some fruit in it. Um, and then I'm just wearing a bathing suit underneath my shorts. I was very concerned about the dress and attire here because I wanted to respect the culture, but it feels like people don't really like care that much like people don't seem to care especially because when you're like it seems like when you're a tourist like they know you're a tourist so like it is what it is so i don't know um but we're heading down to the pool now i got all the stuff mask glasses sunglasses these are from forever 21 my top is from tj maxx and my shorts are tj maxx or they're american eagle but they are from tj maxx and then just some flip-flops these are old navy so heading out now um, anything I do mention in this vlog, like clothing wise, I will try to link it down below if possible. Oh, and this necklace Tyron got me for our anniversary. So we just celebrated that last week. So he brought me this as a gift, um, now that we're together. So 
I'm gonna head out, we're heading out, and we will chat later. Baby, you could keep me happy, but you've been on the road. Oh, I've never needed love so badly. I'm feeling so alone. And you know that I've been often dreaming of having you around. But my life is so complicated. I don't want to bring you down. I just want to be free from the free. To another day in dubai it is about 8 a.m the next morning what is today i think today is wednesday yeah today is wednesday it is almost eight in the morning and we're awake tyron is at the gym i am gonna start editing a little bit while he's down there and then i have class today because of the time change my class is at 5 30 normally it'd be at 9 30 in the morning but I have class so we're gonna get back for that but i think we're gonna go after he gets back from gym and we're like we get showered and everything i think we're gonna go down to breakfast and then get ready to go over to the burj khalifa um the tallest building in the world and then go to the dubai mall which is i'm pretty sure it's the biggest mall in the world um we're trying to do the things like that you have to see like when you're here i just feel like it's a must like when you go anywhere for the first time you have to see all the touristy stuff first and then when you come back a second time if you like like the place you have to like go to all the hidden gems or a mix of both that is on the agenda for right now last night after dinner we got home and i passed out i was like falling asleep during dinner generally like safety wise it feels very safe um we're following all the precautions wearing our masks when we need to wear our masks when we go outside in public um while we're walking we wear them yeah, and I think I touched on the dress code yesterday. It doesn't feel like too strict or anything um, because I was very nervous about that. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I was nervous about the dress code. I just didn't want to offend anyone, but everyone seems to be wearing like shorts and stuff. So I don't feel too uncomfortable doing that. I realized I didn't give you guys a room tour. I guess I can do it now, but it's like not messy, but the bed's not made or anything. But I did show you the swan on the bed yesterday or didn't I? They put a swan on our bed, um, so when I get to the bed part, I will <laughs> show you what it looks like made instead of messy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you a room tour. We are staying at the Wyndham Dubai Marina. Um, it is a beautiful spot. It's not like in downtown Dubai. It's like right on the outside. It's closer to the beach, so we can walk to the beach from where we are. Um, we just thought it was a really nice hotel, and we booked this trip super last minute, so we picked this one. It ended up being really nice, so... Um, and they were also like super cheap on Expedia, so we booked it. Oh, let me show you this. Okay, so this is the door when you walk in, and then you turn, and this is what it looks like. So you come in, there's like a little seating area. Um, we've actually sat on this a few times. I just have my carry-on right there, Tyron's cologne and my necklace, and then the mirror. So this is what I was vlogging in yesterday. And then we have some cupboards for like your closet and stuff. There's only um, like our suitcases in here. We didn't put anything else in here. We didn't like use the hangers or anything just because we're only here another like week. So it's just, I don't know, it's just pointless. Um, and then this one, there's a safe, all of that situation. Uh, like I said, the mirror. And then over here, this is like, a messier area it's just because it has stuff on it but yesterday we stopped at the grocery store just to get some snacks um because we were hungry and we were like we eat breakfast here because it's included we booked breakfast to be included in the stay and then we eat dinner but we wanted something like in between if we didn't necessarily want to have lunch but still wanted to have a snack so we um we picked up a ton of these waters they're in the fridge right now the other ones um bananas, tuna for Tyron, rice cakes, because we both love rice cakes. So we have some rice cakes here. Um, these were from yesterday, those apples. And then in the fridge underneath, we have the rest of the water, apples, and then there's some peaches behind there. This is a gift from my manager. Um, it is homemade blackberry jam. I put it in my checked luggage. Um, 
she gave this to me to try and I told Tyron that he could have some when he got back to America and then I ate it all because it was so good. So she gave me more as a gift to bring to him. So we're probably gonna eat that with the rice cakes. And then up here, obviously the phone, a Bluetooth speaker. This is actually really nice. We've used it a few times so far. An espresso, some cups, um, and then like they give you all the coffee. We've already started using it obviously. Um, we use the espresso pods this morning. There's a kettle here for hot water and then like all the coffees, some powdered like creamer. We have teas and then like the sugars. It came with an espresso cup and then a regular coffee cup, which I'm using for my coffee right now. This is like our charging station. Um, and then I just have sunscreen, vitamin C, and then this is where we've been keeping our masks. And this is like a little desk area, but we're not really using it. So we just put all our stuff on here. Um, and then if you look over, we didn't plan on getting this room. We plan on getting like a standard room, but this is like the suite because they charge like 50 Durham um, for like per night extra for it. They gave us like a discount. So it was only a little over $100 more. So we were like, you know what? We haven't seen each other in months. We should just make this special and book it. So we did. So we have the couch, coffee table, obviously, um, just like some tire and stuff is on here. Um, my coffee that I'm drinking now, Kleenex, and then this is the TV. It kind of separates like the bed area um, from the living room area. We sit on this like the whole time we're here. And then these, I don't know what these are. This is, they're like hollow inside. I don't know, but we've been, we've been sitting on them in the morning to drink our coffees and look out at the view, which is the best part. This is why we wanted this room because we get this whole view. It's gorgeous, like floor to ceiling windows basically. And we love a good view. And then this is the bed area, the bedroom. Um, more views, gorgeous. And then two nightstands obviously, the bed which is obviously a mess. So insert of how it looked yesterday when it was all nice and made up. Um, this over here is kind of cool, it lights up. Let me. Like so at night this is all lit up and then this is as well so it like creates a really cool vibe in here at night and then this is what it looks like from this point of view I like it. It's fun to look at, but I feel like then it's like, okay, 